Did I always know what I wanted to do? Or did I do what I wanted to do in a hope of figuring out what I wanted to do eventually? When I was younger, I could not wait to be on the road. I couldn't wait to be behind the wheels and to go on uh, crazy adventures. All these years later, I am on the road, I am behind the wheels, but I have nowhere to go. We seek for a purpose in life. The whole idea of uh, finding our purpose in life, we are so fixated around that. But what even is the meaning of purpose or the purpose of a purpose itself? There's a part of me that is able to see past these philosophical subtexts that pushes me to think more rationally. But there's also a bigger part of me which knows that these wisdoms derive from experiences, from feelings, emotions. And in some ways, perhaps these are deeper than science and equations. Torn up between the heart and the mind, the right and the wrong. I'm trying to blur the lines in between, but in doing so, I am so, so torn apart myself. Do you exist because you're alive, or are you alive because you exist? To gain clarity in life, you need a vision. But what if that very vision deceives you time after time? In knowing who you are, do you also lose who you thought you were? But how can you lose what you're not? Unless what you are not is also who you are. I'm always having these questions and I'm always questioning myself, my uh, my own emotions, my thoughts and my behaviours and how I'm so different in my own company. So I doubt my sanity and I doubt my true self because it keeps on evolving and it keeps on changing. Um, but doing in something like this, um, I know I am aware that this will lead to nowhere. But I also know that this is the only way to remain sane, to always question myself, to always look out for my own truth, for my own reflection. And in doing that, I'm realizing that perhaps this is the true purpose of our lives, to find ourselves, the true version of ourselves, you know? And as simple as it sounds, I think it's so, so complicated. Anyways, today I have come to one of my favorite places um, to take a little break, to paint, to be more present and to be in sync with my hands, with my mind. But just on the other side of the river where I'm sat, there is a railway track. Behind me is a dual carriageway and out of all days, today, there is also military training taking place nearby. So there's a lot of gunshots and bombings and whatnot. Had I not told you this, I think you would have immediately associated these moments with nothing but um, a peace and serenity and tranquility and stuff like that. But that is far from the truth, at least the full truth anyway. Initially, all I could hear um, was these noises, but as I shifted my focus on what was in front of me, uh, which obviously is this beautiful oasis of life, I learned to let go a little. The noise was of course uh, still there, but I was not. I had drifted away and rekindled with my own noise.
there's always so much going on around us um, even before we're here it's always been like this and even after we leave it will remain equally chaotic there will always be uh, something shaking the course of nature in fact one need not look outside just look within you you have your own tornado going on in there and um, the world is perhaps the projection of all of our hurricanes and our tornadoes that exist within each one of us and here I am trying to silence that <laughs> how can one possibly silence that even in our quietest moments um, there's always a sound the silence has a sound of its own and no matter where we go we can never escape that life's purest joy comes at unexpected moments you might be looking at this video and thinking this is uh, blissful and perhaps a definition of joy but to me um, it's the fleeting moments within these moments that are um, that I treasure the most the moments that can never be contained and the moments that disappear with a blink of an eye there were two little dogs that were um, swimming my way but upon seeing me they swiftly swam away doing the quickest u-turn i'd ever seen and those few seconds uh, were the most sincere experience for me of the day the little eye contact um, between me and one of the dogs um, it was just it was just something else and this brief encounter um, sort of blurred the line between the water and the ground and um, they were just a really um, a special connection there and I, I can't quite explain it but it touched me um, perhaps because it was fleeting and I was aware of that um, but yeah that was the purest moment of this entire session uh, something so ordinary and um, weird to some of you uh, but moments like this really fuels my soul uh, in the most purest form and and it's not for anyone else to understand this um, they don't have to at all um, but yeah soon after that two other friends came to visit me it was a different experience with them um, because as soon as they found me they were making their way towards the land and um, I sort of gripped my tripod abruptly and uh, sort of warned them through my eyes and they went back in into the water and um, I never stopped thinking about that little moment. Um, they were the size of me, so of course I, I was petrified <laughs> when they came closer. Um, but did I have to scare them? And you know, even if I did manage to scare them, um, how did they read my signs? And you know, it was just it was just a really weird encounter. But I was I was hoping I was praying that um, you know that they would understand that I meant no harm. Anyways, these two moments are nothing but uh, everything at the same time. Um, they sort of mirrored my sense of place in this earth in, in, in a weird way. I know my rambles have been all over the place um, but I was all over the place myself uh, even in these quietest moments. I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I was at peace, but I wasn't at peace. I was alone, but I wasn't alone. I was painting, but I wasn't painting. 
I was unhappy, but I wasn't unhappy. I found my quiet, but I also found my noise. We live in complex duality. To just exist on one end would be unattainable and even to expect something like that is um, not quite right. I think you have to look on the bright side but also look on the dark side and and find your find your way somewhere along the line and and it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. I hope that you didn't get too bored with my um, crazy thoughts. Um, yeah, don't forget to give yourself a break. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.